What we're gonna do, what we're gonna do For fuck's sake, for fuck's sake The world's gone mad and I'm sharing it with you For fuck's sake, for fuck's sake So sit right down, grab a glass of wine Maybe a cup of tea and some chocolates And, and join me for another For fuck's sake Yes, it is another Sunday. You know what that means. It is FFS exclamation mark with me, Judith Owen. I am joined today by somebody who I can definitely describe as being friend o show, friend o family. Yes, he has been in my video. He has been in Harry's video, should I say Derek Small's video. If you recall in the video I made to go with Dream a Little Dream, he was the homicidal maniac I was married to. Um, very hot though, very hot. Um, but he did smash me over the head with an award. Um, uh, yeah, it was a, it was a feel good video that one. Uh, he was also a sort of 1980s throwback, big head rock fan in the fantastic Derek Small's video, actually, which was made by you, Matt Minlin. Um, it don't get old. Yes, I, I am of course speaking about if you don't know already the fantastic. I mean, supremely fantastic. Mr. Marcus Eaton, oh. come on, have a shh. come on, everyone. Matt, come on. I can't, come I on, can't bow, but come on. Thank you, thank you. Well, if you were a real Californian, you'd be applauding yourself. I know. I mean, so. what is your problem? Well, because whatever. I do. What is it when the minute I get together with Marcus, <laughs> the minute you and I get together, we are talking like that and oh, sort well, of burn and I cry because we've just like we have so many shocking stories about. Yeah. ridiculous things we have seen and overheard in here, this here, Hollywood, lu, 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 la, la, land. Yes. Of such vacuousness, <laughs> it's almost, it almost becomes deep. Yeah. And meaningful. Absolutely. Yeah. I think we need, I mean, we have characters based on them. For sure. And, totally. And, and so, like, if we spent more time together, I'm sure I we think could, like, we'd be absolutely some like scrubs or something like. Yeah. That. I could do I your mean, meals. Whatever, but it's like a lot. It's, <laughs> that it, we have, we have a lot. We uh -huh. have. Uh, well, you just introduced me to something I hadn't seen, which is uncut jumps. That's it. Yeah. Uncut jumps. <laughs> yeah. Um, we, can you just it's, describe what oh, this man. is? It's I have. Just, I'm actually. What, I almost gagged a lot so the hard a earlier. What's name? Her name, well, Fox, yeah, Julia Fox, I think. Anyway, it's an interview with her, and they said, oh, well, tell, tell us about you being a muse. She's like, oh, for example, I was selling some muse when they wrote Uncut Jams. Uncut Jams. She says it just like that. Uncut, uncut Jams. So but I was someone's muse. TikTok, yeah. And oh, she you're says it in a real... Yeah. When but you showed serious. me, I was actually quite shocked just because cause I could not see past the lips. And then I had to go and watch it again and again and again just to hear the I got jams. <laughs> yeah. It's just, uh, oh, this man. reminds me of the time I was in Whole Foods, as I shared with you. Mm -hmm. And there was a big Malamute standing there with his owner, as you do. And, uh, and I've got being a dog lover and not a human lover, I'd said, oh, my gosh, your dog is so beautiful. And the guy turned around and says, yeah. Um. He, he, oh God, what, hang on, he's, he's oh, shaman. that's right, that's it, yeah. sorry, I forgot my own lines. Yeah. He's a shaman. <laughs> okay, he's a shaman. And he said, Maximilian, um, <laughs> he, we take him to the beach in Venice, and he looks into the eyes of people, and I tell you, I can see them <laughs> healing. <laughs> to which I thought, you know, every dog on the planet does that. When you look into their eyes, you, you kind of feel the healing. <laughs> anyway, Maximilian Shaman. Oh, my God. Anyway, that's enough of that because yeah. we could go on ad nauseum. Well, we do. We do go on. We do go on. Yes. And it's and it's horrifying and sh and uh, amazing that we even got to, to, to or can perform and keep a straight face. Because you're a very serious artist. Well, yeah. Well, you too. You know, like when you start... You know, when when we start laughing, it doesn't stop. So yeah, it's it's good. So we have to look away when we're performing yeah. together. We just look yeah, over here, kinda... and he looks over there, yep. and we just look strange. Yep. yep. Um. No so giggles. now uh, let me do a little bit of a <laughs> Marcus Eaton. This is your life. Yes. Um. So a few. The reason we're here together to, mm -hmm. together today is because I saw you perform, um, a few nights ago, and I had hadn't seen you in. It feels like the whole of COVID, pretty much, almost. Yeah. yeah. And. I was once again, and that's why I've got you on this this uh, fun little show of mine because this this stream because I am always so uh, amazed and and just blown literally just like blown over by your artistry and and your musicality and the beauty of what you do. It, it's just it's a phenomenal thing, oh, and you are an incredible you. artist. I'm always blown away by you and. 
and I forget. And then I see you perform and I'm just sort of like, oh my oh. God, you're, you're a very humble guy, but you're Thank just you. brimming over with, with musicality. You're, you're my kind of an artist. And so it's just like, you know what? Come on over. Well, thank you. Do I, what you thanks do. Thanks for coming over to that show. It was weird. It was a weird little show, but oh, you were brilliant. But I appreciate it was, you no, being was, there, and um, and I was nervous. I saw you come in. I was like, okay, I'm oh, really gonna like, be on no, the you game know what? The thing when you see somebody else perform, especially mm -hmm. solo, mm -hmm. is that you are reminded of what it is that you love about the art form and what you often forget you do too. Yes. I mean, that sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? But when I see people mm -hmm. I admire and adore doing what they do, yeah. it gives me great a great sense of inner strength and purpose because I yes. I'm reminded of what it is I do, who I am, right. and that that's the reason right. for doing it is yeah. that it's a thing um, of yeah. of such joy and and such beauty, and yeah. and then it makes me appreciate it much more and take it. Again, you know, like realize how fortunate I am to get to do this. And I yeah. think that's sometimes the kick that you need. Absolutely. Absolutely. I feel the same way when I see you play. Aww. You know, when I get to come see you and doing your thing, you know, it's just always like, ah, it's a reminder of why we, why I, we get to do it. So that's inspiring. what is the collaborative thing, I think, about musicians. And mm -hmm. particularly if you, not everybody feels at ease loving other, <laughs> yeah. other performers because they find it so um, yeah. uh, threatening. But yeah. that's not what it's meant to be. You're meant no. to be just like. No. Well, and the other thing is like, you know, you're an artist. You write your own songs. Mm -hmm. I write my own songs. There's crossover with what we do, but yes. we're doing two different things. And yes. But at the heart, it's the same because yes. we're trying to convey a really beautiful idea to somebody. And, and, you know, it's just amazing how one person's mind works differently than the other. And. Yeah. That's what you get inspired by. It's just like, oh, man. It, it is. I, it's utterly inspiring. Yeah. And I think the nice thing about seeing, it's why I love being in New Orleans and going out and seeing music. Oh, yeah. God, I'm only just starting to get back to do that now, of course, indoors. But one of the great things about seeing music is it does inspire you to be, to go back home and write a song and yeah. to be that musician and to do it yourself. Because it, yeah. it reminds you of who you are. Yeah. And that was, and, and, and so I was so taken with the songs that you did but first of all i know you know i've been doing these streams of the whole of covid i've made a record i've done all this all the, these the things we've we've all been doing so much to try and yeah uh, uh, uh keep going and 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 be fruitful in this very strange time but i know you've yeah. been very busy and yeah. i i tell us you have an album yeah i finished a whole album during covid which you know when i say whole album it's well, it's a lot because it's just me. It's so a lot. seven. It's a lot. <laughs> seven seven songs though, you know, seven songs, um, and I grouped them together because they fit really well and they're really relevant right now. You know, the ideas behind them are really yeah. socially relevant. But you know, it was it was done during COVID. But thanks to you, um, also Megan played on there. You know, Megan Cassidy, the fabulous Megan Cassidy, who is who yeah. is um, who is the viola player bar none from London, who I've used on all. Yeah. So much of my music, and she was on the road with me to, when yeah. I was touring with uh, Somebody's Child and, and Rediscovered. She's remarkable. And yeah, um, yeah I'm, I'm so, I was so happy to hear about that. Yet yeah. another. And of course, you, you've done work with Pedro, too. Yeah. Of course, thanks I know that's the to, other thing. Thanks to you. That. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're really lucky. I, I just, yeah, but Megan, man, she just killed it. I mean, it's so, her playing is so beautiful. And the thing is, like, I it. love, I love viola. Yeah, me too. I love violin, but viola is so special. And yeah, it, I know. she just did these amazing parts. So I can't wait for you to hear it. So I'm looking forward to yeah, that. Yeah, so I finished that album and and, uh, and then it's just been a stream of really interesting stuff since then. So you, I'm really happy. I, 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 I was sort of I was just sort of like, Oh, what have you been mm -hmm. up to? What have you been doing? And then yeah. you dropped the great the great big <laughs> yeah. boof. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was it? The money shot basically <laughs> yeah. uh, in front of me about oh that little soundtrack that you played all over for a giant film. Please oh, yeah. share that with us. Yeah, well, another mutual friend of ours, yeah. actually, James Samuel um, from London, London, England. London, England, right. Um, anyway, James directed this amazing film called The Harder They Fall. It's mm -hmm. all over Netflix right now. It's a huge film. I think it's a $50 million film. Yeah. And uh, he had me play all of the acoustic guitar on there, which was just what it, it, I, I'm so humbled that he asked me to do it. I'm amazed. So, you know, if you listen to the score, 
and the crux of the film you know i watched it was like god that's so cool that's my that's my guitar playing in that there. is wonderful so, yeah. I'm so I'm thrilled. So really and James happy. is a good guy. I mean, he really he's a great talent and a musician yeah. as well. And and he's yes, he he's a good guy. So that I, yeah. I, that this has all happened today. I mean, we didn't know this yeah. before. It was sort of like, well, what have you been up to? And it all came out. It all spilled out. <laughs> yeah. Didn't it? Well, and he wrote all the music too, which is yeah. so cool. So I mean, he sent me these, you know, the tracks that he had, and he's like, "This is what needs to be done." And I played it, and man, it was just like. It happened really fast. I did the parts. You know, I recorded most of them at home. I went to the office a few times. And, you know, the, I, what I'm trying to say is just I didn't get the scope of the thing, you know, because he'd been working on it for a couple of years. Yeah. I mean, and this yeah. was shot out in New Mexico. I mean, it's gorgeous, you know. So it was like going to the pre premiere was just intense. I yeah. was like, damn, dude. It's okay, a huge this is thing. the film. No, like, it's fantastic. The and uh, the film was cool because Jay-Z co-produced it. Yeah. So he was there and... We played in a band for the premiere, and Jay-Z got up and performed with us. And it, I mean, it's just, it's been a crazy experience, but that was really fun. That's yeah. wonderful. So. I'm thrilled. I'm just yeah. really, really thrilled for you. That's, Thank uh, you. It's, and I know that came from, like, being at a party and meeting yeah. James and hanging. It's yeah. so nice when those things do actually happen. I know. For all the 150 times you've been somewhere and thought, what Absolutely. am I doing here and yeah. then you actually go somewhere and someone sees you play and actually it goes somewhere yeah. because yeah they're good people exactly it's and they do all, what they say it's all you know based on good people yeah and thank god there are those people out there because man you get you go through long you know Ugh. you go through long spells of just like oh nothing why? nothing 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 then 20 yeah. buses come yeah i'm just thrilled i'm really yeah, really so thrilled for you thank you and i had i had a um it was kind of a revelation to me the other night when, mm -hmm. when I saw you just because there were a couple of things that I wasn't expecting and was just, again, uh, to, you know, to blow your horn for you. Is okay. that is that yeah. a terrible thing to say? <laughs> is there any double meaning in that? Is that a double entendre? I'm blowing his horn for him. Blow my horn, please. I'm blowing his please, horn. Please, please blow my um, horn. <laughs> sorry, Harry. But he, um, so... Out you, you're a loop meister. You are an yeah. absolute monster at looping. I'm so envious. Like it's just <laughs> so great, and um, I think most piano players are. You know, that's the thing when you see guitar, you're like, oh, you, you get to stand up, bastard. Yeah, right. You get to stand up and <laughs> right. hit the pedals, and things happen. Yeah, mother. Yeah. And I feel the same way, of course, with the fabulous Helen. You lay down, as you know, uh, Matt down in New Orleans with her loop. My, she's mm -hmm. just ridiculous. So when it comes to that stuff, you're so, um, it's so inspiring to watch. You, you know, you, you, your imagination is so incredible. It's all so musical and and so well done. And then. And then, if that wasn't enough, you pull out a miniature bow <laughs> oh, yeah. that you use on your guitar strings yep. as if to create your own orchestra. Yep. Please tell me about that. Well, that's that's another really interesting story because I was on Instagram. I guess it was ah, it was last year sometime. It was it was less than a year ago though, or about a year ago, and I saw an ad for this bow for acoustic guitar and it just something like unlock your creativity and I was like dude that's cool that's a bow someone played and you know it was okay like the demo was okay and I was like man that thing looks really cool and for a long time I've actually wanted to get this instrument that's called a guitar viol which ah. is a six string it's literally a six string bowed guitar but they're expensive you know they're like they're like about six grand mm -hmm. and there's one guy that makes them I mean there's more than one guy but the best ones are made right here like in the valley and I've talked to the guy, and I'm like, okay, it's in my mind. I'm going to get that thing, right? So I, I ordered this bow. It was like 70 bucks. It shows up, you know, and then you just, like, put the rosin on it. And I was like, oh, this is, this is incredible, actually. Yeah. So I just kept playing with it. So, like, last... I can't remember when it was. I, my time is just gone. Who knows? After I don't 2020, know. who what knows? What year is it? But last, it yeah. last year, at some point, I posted this video of me playing Last of the Mohicans, which is like the famous violin piece that everyone knows from the film. Except, and that thing got, except me. Except for you. You don't know it. But <laughs> but one of these years, watch Last of the Mohicans. Oh, I'll do that. Um, anyway, it's a beautiful piece of music. Yeah. And that thing went viral on TikTok. It got wow. like four million views. So And it's still going. It's still going as oh we speak. God. So I, Because I'm like the first person to do anything with the bow. So it's crazy. It's crazy. It looks mm -hmm. like um, a nail file. Yeah, it looks. That's just what's like shocking a, to me. It's yeah. like this tiny little, little, like tiny scrubby, little, or a pumice or something. Yeah. It looks so unbelievably like. Yeah. Nah. 
what you do yeah. with it is and that, and I think that is the perfect segue into the first song if I, I'm gonna uh, yeah, you know have you stand up get away from me and actually uh uh play a song that really really does show off that incredible piece of kit can yes. you do, would you like to introduce the song please yeah this is actually an older song of mine I wrote it probably in 2005 or 6 it's, it's pretty old but it's called who you are it's a love song it's a really passionate love song it's kind of a it's kind of a i guess it's got some flamenco stuff in there really it's like really fast rhythmically but i've been using the bow to set up the loop and it's beautiful it's exactly what it needs so who you are it's what it's called <laughs>
All right, I am, well, I'm, uh, A, I love it. B, I'm almost angry at how good you are. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just, I can turn like that. You oh, know, there's nice. love, there's a lot of love. Uh -huh. And then it's like, maybe, maybe a little <laughs> too good. I'm going to kick you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's absolutely stunning. I, I just can't. I can't stop watching. Uh, you, you're such an amazing guitarist, but I mean, between everything, I'm so impressed by that. But then again, that that musicality that that you know the orchestra in your head mm -hmm. that then allows you to expand and to open that up and have your own yeah spring I mean, section it's, it's absolutely well, it's, I mean, it's gorgeous really interesting me thank you I, it's interesting because i started looping like my band quit when i was younger it was like 2003 and i'd been looping even before then and i was throwing it in during our shows because my i'd drop out rhythmically and i'd want to like do some solo stuff yeah so i would loop my guitar and i i know i was one of the first people doing it but the thing was, like, once they quit, it was like, man, I got to come up with a way to present this to people that it's going to be bigger because I wanted to have a band with me at all all times, but it just wasn't possible. No, and you now know? you are the band. So, and I think that's what yeah. is so liberating about being able to uh, to loop to, yeah. to, to the level that you do where it doesn't get in the way of the performance of the song. Yeah. It doesn't take from it, and it, it doesn't take from the performance, but it, it's just, it's magical to see that coming together but then to hear it it's not ever done it's just it's just Thank right you. it's just beautiful but it's a gorgeous thing to watch these loops being created in front of your eyes it's just it's i'm madly jealous thank you well you know it's also one of those things where there's a lot of people that loop to create a song yeah but I'm using it to enhance. Yes, a song you are, and that's it. Which is the you're difference. arranging the song. Yeah, I mean, these the, you are orchestrating your song. Yeah, and you're not looping to write. It's the other yeah. way around, which is why I love it. You are now, you know, you're you're putting, you're painting with these sounds, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So the Thank song you. is the song, and that's yes. the right way around. Exactly. I mean, it's, it's just beautiful, and that's yeah. an amazingly beautiful song. Thank um, you. So now, talking of loops, mm -hmm. um, I was really really taken with with this next song and yeah. heard it the other night as well and was just like oh my gosh that is so beautiful and i believe there is a great story yes that goes you with ready this, for this one story? yes i'm ready should i well, sit back uh it happened in london it happened in london 
So this is another, got another to connection. It's got to be good if it happened in that. Yeah, here we go. I'm you ready. You got your robe. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the, you know, this, this is a story I read when I, kind of when I first moved to LA. So I guess this was like 10 years ago. Yeah. And uh, I just read the story in the paper about a guy in London who was cleaning his chimney and there's a grate and he pulled the grate down, you know, as you do. And there were a bunch of bones in there from birds that had died in the chimney. One of them was a leg of a pigeon with a message at attached to it. And it was from World War II. So the receiving center for these pigeons was right there. So they had flown from behind enemy lines in Germany all the way back to this center. And that pigeon like landed in his chimney and fell in, obviously never made it out. And they found this message on the leg of the pigeon. So it gave me an idea for a song because I was like, God, that's amazing because like the message still made it. Whether they translated it or not, that, I still haven't seen that it's been decoded, but I was like, that is a cool, and now, you know, it's a cool metaphor flying yeah. through the fire. Yeah. Like this bird's flown through the fire and it's like you focus your intent, delivery is eminent, you never tire yeah. from flying through the fire. It's just like single focus, you're going to get there. So that's if the you song. if all right, so if somebody Matt, if you'd said to me, what do you think this song's about? Mm -hmm. If you'd said that to me, I I would not, I I could not have possibly have said, <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure it's about a pigeon. <laughs> right. That uh, it's a pigeon. Yeah. It's a pigeon song. A pigeon Obviously, not, it's a character. It's not song. the sexiest. No, bird it's not either. the sexiest. <laughs> no, I love it, but I now want to know what the message was. You don't think it was bombing. Bombing London time tomorrow knows, night, do you yeah. think? I mean, I don't think so. Did the pigeon die in vain? Uh, no, I don't think so because I got the song out of it. So, how can it? You know, you know what? That yeah. was a life well spent <laughs> that it brought you that song. <laughs> it's an absolutely beautiful song and it's a fantastic story, really. Please share with us Flying Through the Fire. Here we go. Can't 
Another beauty. I mean, an extraordinarily beautiful song, truly. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I, I'm, I. It's such a pleasure to s for me to sit back and and watch and and be so entertained and and, and be so filled, you know, filled with inspiration. Seriously, watching other people perform it is it's it's really something. Thank it's you. Really well, something. I, I'm, you know, it's a huge honor to be here, of course. I mean, we've been friends for a long time. We have. We have now. Yeah. And so I, I'm always... Like, you've been like, amused to me. Yeah, you've been my muse. You've been as, my muse. As well. It's <laughs> a lot, though. No, I'm it's just always excited when we get together because I just think we have the same sense of humor, too. With the Plus, same ridiculous <laughs> sense of humor, yes, yes. Plus, our, you know, our music does... It's funny because I have this matching thing, I think, with you, which is like our sense of humor doesn't... You have to actually speak and really engage with the audience for people to understand your sense of humor. If you just played your music, oh God. people would be like, "No, ah, they, she's depressed. She you is know? so down. And what a bummer. The, oh, you know, no, really. Said, I, people no, have I said know. that to me, too. They're just like, oh, I get it. Deal, and I, and you know? it's sort of, um, it's like the flip side of funny, you know, of professional comics. I, I happen yeah. to know about this. Um, <laughs> that, you know, the darkest people make the funniest people. And, right. the f you know, funniest people can write the saddest songs and make the darkest art. Absolutely. And I think that that is just the flip side of the same coin. I but agree. you would never know that. I mean, that's, I agree with you. You'd never know that about you. When I met you, I was just like, this is one of the funniest people I've ever met, many I've ever <laughs> met in my you. life. And it's just like, <laughs> Then, then, then the music comes and it's like, oh my gosh! But you have to have the light and the dark. You I mean you I have to, otherwise, completely. what a bloody boring no, ass! Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. you know, you got to have that depth. But yeah. as we were talking about earlier, I mean, I feel like all the, all that really awesome moody music that comes from the UK is just that's my favorite. Yeah, you know, well, it, it's um, the dark music that comes from the grey clouds and the grey sky. Yeah. And then you go up to Scandinavia and then it's like all bets are off because <laughs> yeah. it's so depressing and yeah. so dark and you don't see the sun. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of good moody stuff coming from Britain. There always will be. It's just it's just who we are, yeah. I think. And yeah, of course, you know, again, it's like the, the dark Brits with that great sense of humour, dare I say it, but we Absolutely. do. Absolutely. We my do, yeah, yeah. Too, it's that know? and Australians are my two. Totally. Oh my God, me they kill too. me. Now, I, I, I have to, of course, ask you to, yeah, get down off your pedestal, 
And uh, please, would you go. would you perform a song with <laughs> me? Okay, just just come on, just come down to the real world of for a minute. Course. Would you? None of them. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> just do do the bog standard shit with I'd me. Love would you? To. Let's go. Um, I'm I'm gonna uh, introduce this song uh, in in a little bit, but before that, I just want to to thank you, Marcus Eaton, for being just such an incredible oh. incredible musician and guest and friend. Um, to me and, and Harry and uh, I hope everybody that's been watching us has enjoyed it as much as we all have uh, here and that um, if you didn't know who this marvellous man is you do now so you should be following and finding out more because he, his music is absolutely incredible and then there's, there is that album coming out yes. very soon, very soon. Yes. and we'll 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 link to that and, and make all those right things thank you, um, thank you everybody for sending uh, spending your uh, uh, Sunday, a little piece of your Sunday with me, uh, Judith. So, Lady Judith, your hostess with the mostest um, problem with with LA accent. So, uh, but uh, moving on swiftly, of course, I do want just just want to point out that you happen to be in New Orleans, March the third. I am actually going to be performing my debut performance at uh, the Temple to Jazz there in, on Frenchman Street, Snug Harbor. Yes, indeed, I'm so excited. Bit of an impromptu gig, but uh, I'm in town doing some music videos with the guys, the chaps, uh, whilst finishing up, up mixing uh, this upcoming jazz album that I'm doing. So it will be myself, David Tolkanowski, Pedro Segundo. Lex Warshowski yeah. and Kevin Lewis. So what an unbelievable night. You'll find out ticket information very soon, either on this uh, show or on my website. So I'll keep you posted. And there'll be another little gig very soon around the corner from that too. So I'll be keeping you posted on all these things. Back to this finishing, closing song. Well, I wanted to do this one with you because mm -hmm. it's rare that I that I play something just with a, a, a guitarist. Yeah. and. And I've been very fortunate in the guitarists that I've worked with in my life. Um, one of them, the most supreme I feel being, and I feel like you are up there with this man, and that is Richard Thompson, yeah. um, who I'm about to, and in fact, this July, after two years of waiting for it, I'm about to do a cruise up the Danube with him um, where we're, we're performing. So, cool. so yeah, I mean, so uh, I'm, cool. I cannot wait. It's just, oh, it's going to be heaven. But Richard very kindly sang and played on this track of mine i think it was from happy this way and it was about one of my favorite artists uh nick drake yes who richard actually played on his earliest uh, on on his albums That's and, so and which is an extraordinary small world thing yeah um and it was interesting to me that you'd never heard that song i threw it at you um uh we we basically when we when i started playing it for you to to, to have a little rehearse mm -hmm. It was astonishing to me how how you absolutely played what so much so close to what Richard. Uh, <laughs> the, the, it, that's what I'm talking yeah. about in that incredible synchronistic, but that infinite musicality that you are either on the same track and the same wavelength, or you're not. And yeah. and for sure, you and I are definitely. And I mean, it was such a thrill. Yeah. So um, thank you. That was I, so uh, beautiful, beautiful. Track. Well, God. we're get, we're gonna now do that as as the closing piece to this show. Yes. Um, a song called. Nicholas Drake, take care of yourselves. Thank you again, Marcus Eaton, and I will see you all next Sunday. Be safe. Do all the right things, even though we've thrown our masks away, burnt them even like our bras. It's tough out there. Love you guys. See you soon. How your songs made my heart ache Each word that you spoke, every word that you sang More dead than alive, how those demons inside you Denied you the joys of an everyday scribe And all 29 when you thought it was time to mourn Yet your sadness and your pain could not dim The exquisite refrain of your lovely song
rocks by the scene and the rain and umbrellas. Yes, such was the soundtrack of your bittersweet world. That your gift was your curse, you were best through the worst. You won in a million, a poet unheard. The nearer you got, the more you were caught free. In a world of applause, your voice was ignored, so you just turned away. to be strong, understand why you choose to be battered and bruised, finally losing the fight just to follow your muse. Mm. Nicholas Drake, how your songs made my heart ache, such beauty from pain, whether right, whether wrong, it's the gift you obeyed, it's the art that you made, it's the price that you paid for your your lovely song 